Hey guys, we're back. We're doing uh, trinomials, 5-2 and 5-3, factoring trinomials. Okay, so just refresh your memory. We've got um, four types we're going to have to learn in Chapter 5. All right, we've gone over the first two types, the GCF and the grouping. Now we're going to do the two trinomials. Now, we've already done the first type of trinomial that I wanted you to learn, and I didn't write it down specifically. But on the trinomial, where we have those where a is 1, and then we have those where a is not 1. Okay, and so we're going to cover both of these. We've already done the a is 1 one. Remember, we went and we looked at these, and um, we had this pattern right here. This is what we looked at. Don't have the nice, um, my thing's not working, so hold on, let me get it. There we go. So this right here, all right, so when the problem looks like that, we have answers, and we have two numbers, that we're going to figure out what they are, and they go here and here, all right, sorry about that, there we go, and it goes to places right there. Okay, so that's when the A is 1, all right, so now we're going to learn what to do when A is not 1. Okay. okay, so now this time we have a trinomial and there is no GCF. You always have to check for that first, so make sure you check for a GCF before you proceed. Okay, we don't have a GCF. Look at the problem. There's nothing common. There's no common number. There's no common variable. And our A, our first number, is not 1. So here we go. This method is called bottoms up. Or the new AC method and here we got the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the 2 and multiply it by the 1 and replace it so that's multiply AC that's the A remember and the last number is C make sure it's in the right order of your variables okay, the X squared comes first then the X then the regular number the plain number All right so that's going to give me a 2 and I'm just going to copy down the rest of the problem. Okay, now this problem looks like I can handle it. Well, that's step two. Step two says just factor this one like the easy ones. Just factor this like you always do, or like we did before. You know, we're going to put an x there and an x there. And I need two numbers that are going to multiply. Uh oh, I said two and I didn't mean to two numbers that multiply to give me two and they're going to add to give me the three that's going to be two and one right it's going to be a positive two and a positive one okay that seems like normal but that's not that's not finished okay so let's think it through the problem we had we made it different we actually changed the problem in step one we changed it by multiplying. Well, if we change it by multiplying, then we need to unchange it by dividing. So now we're going to divide by our A. Our A in the original problem was 2. So we multiplied by 2 to change the problem. Now we're going to divide by 2. Okay, now this seems weird, I know. But here we go. All right, then we're going to do step 4. It says reduce. Well, because we made some fractions here, didn't we? Yeah, we'll reduce. So 2 over 2, well, that's just 1. Okay. Now, the 1 half, it doesn't reduce. Okay. All right, so then it says reduce, and I'm going to put then bottoms up. What do you mean bottoms up? Ah, well, here's where it gets its name. Okay, the first one, the first factor is x plus 1. We reduced it and got a 1. The second factor is still a fraction. So we're going to take the 2 and it's going up. Now the 2's in the denominator, which we sometimes refer to as the bottom, and then we move it up and it becomes 2x plus 1. And that's my answer. Now we're supposed to check because we want to make 100. If you want to make 100, you check all your answers. All right, so we're going to check this one. Check it by FOIL, so let's multiply it out. So x times 2 is 2x. 
plus 1x plus 2x plus 1. Those go together, make 3x. And that one down, and that one down. That was a 2x squared. Does that check? It does. It checks. So there's my answer. This is called the bottoms up method. Let's do another one. I'm going to move faster so that you can stay with me. All right, first step, I'm going to take the 3 and multiply by the 4 and get the 12. It's going to be a minus 12. All right, so I've changed the problem by multiplying by 3. All right, now I'm going to factor like normal. I need two numbers that's going to multiply to give me a negative 12 and add to give me a negative 1. That's 3 and 4. It's going to be a positive 3 and a negative 4. Stop the video if I'm going too fast and think that through. You've got to understand everything. If I'm going too fast, stop the video and think it through. Alright, so now I've got to undo my change the problem. I change the problem by multiplying by 3. So I'm going to undo by dividing by 3. The first one reduces change color again. First one reduces and makes a 1. So that's x plus 1. The second one does not reduce and that's okay but I'm going to bottoms up. So it's going to be a 3x minus 4. And if I want to make a 100 I'm going to check it. That's my answer. But I'm going to check it to see if it's right. I get a 3x squared minus 4x plus 3x minus 4. Those combine to give me a minus 1x or minus x and it checks. So there's my answer in the box. It checks. This is called bottoms up method. Quickly, let's do a couple more. All right, here we go. I'm going to change up my steps slightly. Okay, so just be ready for a slight change up. I'm going to do 5 times 7 and that gives me a negative 35. Okay, and I know I'm going to just I'm gonna do that. And I'm going to put my x there, my x there, and here's the little slight change. I know I'm going to divide by that 5. I changed the problem by multiplying by the 5, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it there. So that's the only little change in my steps. Okay, so now I need two numbers. I'm going to multiply to give me negative 35, and then I'm going to add to give me negative 2. So that's going to be 5 and 7. I think it's a 5 and a negative 7. Yep. A positive 5 and a negative 7. All right, I'm going to reduce. Reduce. And that's going to give me x. Whoa, where did that come from? We don't want that thing. Hold on. Let's get rid of that. x plus 1. The second one did not reduce, so I can do 5x minus 7. And that's my answer. I'm not going to check it this time. All right, let's do another one. Let's do this one right here. I'm going to do 12 times 1. Gives me a b second minus 7b equal 12. I know I'm going to put a b here and a b here, and I know I've got to divide by 12 because this is a bottoms up one. So I need two numbers, two numbers that are going to multiply. Where'd that equal come from? That's wrong. Multiply to give me 12, and then I'm going to add or subtract to give me negative 7. Okay. That's going to be 3 and 4. It's technically a negative 3 and a negative 4. you got to think it out. Take your time. Right, so negative 3 and negative 4. All right, so now I've got to reduce. They both reduce. Ah, so when I reduce, I get 1 fourth on the first one, and I get one-third on the second. Then I'm going to bottoms up. Okay, reduce and then bottoms up. Lost my color scheme. So that'll be a 4b minus 1. And that 
it's going to be a 3B minus 1. And if you multiply that out, it's going to work. A little bit faster. Let's go. Here we go. We'll do the 5 times the 8. That's going to change it to a 40. x here, my x here, and I know I've got to come in and divide by 5 when I'm done. I need two numbers that's going to multiply to give me 40. Same two numbers I've got to add up to give me negative 22. I'm going to go to my factor sheet. Y'all forgot about that. Go to my factor sheet. Find 40. Where's 40? There it is. What numbers multiply to give me 40 and that are going to add up to give me 22? There they are on my sheet. It's 20 and 2. So now let's go back to my problem. So it's 20 and 2. 20 and 2. And it's got to be a negative 22. So they're both negative. So minus 20 minus 2. All right. Reduce. The first one reduces to 4. The second one does not reduce. Bottoms up. The second one's going to bottoms up to 5x minus 2. Here we go. One more. Last one. 6 times 4 is 24. All right, I multiplied by 6, so I'm going to come in here and divide by 6 after I figure out the numbers. Put my x's in there. I know they got to go. I need two numbers that multiply to give me 24. They're going to add to give me negative 11. I'm going to go to my chart. Go to 24 on your chart. I need two numbers that are going to add or subtract to give me 11. Look at 24. It looks like it's going to be 3 and 8. So it's 3 and 8, and it's got to be a negative 3 and a negative 8 to give me the negative 11. So negative 3, negative 8. I always do my signs last. Don't overkill your brain trying to figure out signs. Get the signs last. All right, reduce. I reduce, I get one half. If I reduce here, I get four thirds. Okay, so I reduce. Now I'm going to do what? Bottoms up. 2x minus 1 and a 3x minus 4. And you need to check it. Please check these. I'm running out of time. It's just math, y'all. Check them. It's just math. Check them. See you on the next video. A few more examples to go.